Hi and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to share our final attacking principles. We'll also give you a couple of games to help you teach that and as always we'll share our top tips at the end. We are on week five of our invasion game scheme of work. We've covered a range of different principles and today we're going to finish it with our final two attacking principles. Dispersal and penetration. When we talk about dispersal all we really mean is spreading out. If we don't spread out and all run and attack in the same direction, it's very easy for the defenders to defend. Here we're only attacking centrally so the defenders just move together to block our path to the goal. If we ask the attackers to disperse, to spread out, this gives the defenders a problem. They now have to think and prioritise of which line of attack they're going to actually defend against. This leads us on to our second principle, penetration. And all we mean by penetration is getting beyond the defenders, getting past them. Because the attackers have dispersed, the defenders have also had to spread out to cover the various angles of attack. This may leave gaps down the side that we can then utilise to score. Or we might be able to pass the ball around which naturally moves the defenders. We might be able to move them just enough to create a gap in between two of them. We can then play through or penetrate that gap again to increase our chance of scoring. So it's all well and good knowing these final two principles, but how does that actually look within our PE lessons? Well, our first game is Rondo. This game teaches teamwork, creativity and tactical nous. You're going to set up the area with four children around the outside in a diamond ship and two defenders in the middle who must stay within the confines of the diamond. The attackers pass the ball around the diamond and score a point every time they manage to string together four passes. The defenders on the other hand score a point by intercepting the ball and they can do this as the pass is made by getting the ball before it gets to a teammate. Now the attackers have already dispersed, they're spread out but they are allowed to move around the sides of the diamond to create different angles of support. As we create these new angles, there might be opportunity to play between the defenders to penetrate and get the ball to our teammates. And if we move the ball around quickly enough, there might be multiple opportunities to penetrate before the defenders can stop us. And our second activity is end zone, promoting dispersal, penetration within a fun-filled flowing game. You're going to set up a two versus two game with end zones at the end and the children aim to keep the ball, eventually getting it into the end zone to score. Encourage children to disperse first before they penetrate. Dispersing means that the defenders are going to create gaps and then naturally we can play through these gaps. We might run or we might play a pass. Here we can see the pass to our teammates played between the defenders that gets us to the end zone. And in this scenario we can penetrate by running past them. You or the teammate might drag the defenders into new positions and then new gaps will appear which hopefully we can then go ahead and use. So there are the games and now let's look at the three top tips so we can squeeze even more from our PE lesson. Our first tip is to encourage children to disperse. This is very important. When we disperse we create gaps down the side and we also create gaps in the middle that we can then use. If we don't disperse and spread out then it's very easy for the defenders to defend against. Our second tip is to encourage children to consider when to pass and when to run. In this example it's going to be very difficult to run. Two defenders are acting pretty much like a wall or a human shield, making it very difficult for us to get to the end zone this way. Fortunately our teammate is on hand. When they move down to the side and disperse, this will naturally force the defender to move over. When our teammates disperse, this causes gaps in between the defenders. Gaps that hopefully we'll be able to run into ourselves. Children will need lots of trial and error as they figure out when to pass and when to run. And our final tip is to ask children to throw in some deception. A trick, a dummy, a feint. Here the children might set off running with the aim of drawing defenders over before passing the ball at the last minute to a teammate who's in space. Or the children approaching the defender might pretend to pass the ball. As the defenders move across to intercept the ball, we've now got opportunity to sneak around the outside, pretending to pass but actually running all the way. Whichever way they do it, give children plenty of time to practice these two principles of play and be creative in the process. Thank you for watching everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. If you did then please like and then share the video with anybody else that you feel would benefit from it. And as always remember to subscribe so that you can catch next week's video. I'll see you all then.